Hey, good morning and welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're in chapter 5, verse 17, and let's read. Now it happened on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by who had come out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And so here we have a text. We're just getting into this uh, famous scenario here. You'll see it tomorrow morning. But here's a, a situation. Jesus is healing and Jesus is teaching. And what we have here is quite an interesting group here. Pharisees, teachers, scribes, uh, people are gathered. They're gathered from, it says, all the cities, Galilee, Judea, Jerusalem. There's some from the north. There's some from the south. They're, they're gathered there, and they are listening to who? To Jesus. So Jesus is teaching. They are listening. And so it's very, very intriguing because here are all these people. They've got their ears. They're there. They're present. They're listening. And they're trying to bring a person in to be healed by Jesus, but they can't get him in because it's just too crowded. We'll see what happens next. But and I thought this was an interesting line, didn't you? And the power of the Lord was present to heal. Of course, Jesus is God. Jesus was 100% God. He was 100% human. Also, Jesus, as God, had right to all divine power, but this power, Philippians says, he had laid aside. And so he's living as a man among men. He is God, but he's living as a man. And he's healing people. How is he healing people? Is he healing people by some of his own innate? power. Well, no, that power he had laid aside. So Jesus is healing by the power of God. The power of the Lord was present to heal. The marginal reading says that it was present with him to heal. So Jesus is healing other people. He's teaching, but he's doing it in such a way that he's, he's not using something that you and I can't use. He's using the power from the Father, which is available, of course, to all the servants of the Lord God. So this helps explain why down through the book of Acts and different other New Testament books and Bible books, we find many miracles of healing because God is ready to, to, he desires to heal. He's ready to give his power to employ it to heal. And Jesus is employing the power to heal just as anyone can. Although Jesus, of course, as we said, is God, God come in human flesh. Very interesting, the teachers and the Pharisees, they are there. They've come out of every town. This is at the earlier part of Jesus' ministry. They haven't given up on him yet. They haven't condemned him yet. There is some isolated unhappiness, but, but it's still early, and some people are trying to listen. So, And, of course, the devils are gathering around because they don't want anybody to hear, and we'll see that they're going to intervene in every single occasion, every single meeting that they can to try to create a bad flavor out of that meeting. But very interesting to me here, Jesus has quite the audience and he's healing. He's not holding back. He's healing people all through the space. Very interesting to me. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you desire to, to heal us, to teach us, to lift us up higher, bring us up higher, bring us up to higher ground. Lord, we want this day, we're starting a brand new day. We're looking to the Bible. We're looking to Jesus as our helper, Lord. So for devotion today, we do come to you and ask, would you please, Lord, Lift us up to higher ground. Please may your power be present, present in us to give us discernment, what to say, what to do. Maybe use us for healing or for teaching. But Lord, show us, show us what you have for us today. And we give thanks to you for hearing our prayer for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Wherever Jesus is present, his power is present. And then the question is, will we receive his help? Will we receive his healing? May, may you and I receive his help and healing today. God bless you.